And welcome back to another episode. Once again, I am your host, <laughs> Rhonda Colch, and I am so glad that you joined us. And we are in the Battle Collective podcasting, vodcasting studio, and we are with my good friend, Sean Finnegan. How are you? I'm so great, I Rhonda. am so glad. So great. It's been like we've been chatting for so long, and it's like finally getting back together. Love it. And, you know, it's so funny because, you know, you have such an amazing and rich history of doing really spectacular events, right? I mean, it's easy for me. People will say, how do you know Sean? And mm -hmm. it's, it's, I love to just be able to say, you know, I learned from his group, right? Mm -hmm. You know, I was an ambassador yeah. for his brand and mm -hmm. I loved, and, and partly I am where I am today because mm -hmm. of you, because I really fell in love with big stage, mm. right? Which is so funny, you know? Yeah. I discovered how much I love talking openly in the public yeah. when I had the opportunity to be an ambassador for Response. Mm -hmm. So we are now working on a collaboration, yes. a family project called The Battle Collective, mm -hmm. which really was, I guess, your brainchild with Devin? Mm -hmm. Devin Johnson, yeah. yeah. Tell mm -hmm. me a little bit about how that came to be and what this event mm -hmm. is going to look like compared sure. to what all the other centers of influence are yeah, doing. Yeah, her, her and I have been, how many backstages have we been to? Oh my God, a lot. Every kitchen and yeah. in every big venue, we've probably been in the kitchen yeah. cutting through yep. to the backstage, oh, spent a lot of time, met yeah. a lot of incredible people. Yep, we absolutely do. Like you got do. pictures of uh, big brands and amazing people, so. It's fun, so Sean, thank it you. It is so fun. You gave me experiences yes. And, yes. For, and that is, I love it. And hopefully, this event mm. is going to be a fantastic experience yes. for all the people that are coming. So we've been racking our brains, and I've been working in collaboration with you on this. Um, I've been to so many events. You've been to so many events. It's professor-style classroom, lots of people in the room, presentations, maybe motivation and in yeah. inspiration. But we said we want to do something that's completely different and turn the whole thing on its head, which is like, yes, we'll have great speakers, but it's really about changing the trajectory of their business and actually getting them to actually execute a plan. So instead of like the professor style, this is like really workshop whiteboard sessions, lots of hot seats, lots of rolling up our sleeves to come up with a plan in three areas between sales, marketing, and operations. What are the problems? What are you gonna to do to solve them? And then you commit to the whole group that when you leave those doors, you're gonna go execute them and change your business. You know, and we talked about that. And I had Michelle, our sales diva, mm -hmm. uh, she was a guest on the show when we were talking about accountability. Hmm. Because I think the difference between what the Battle Collective is offering hmm. in comparison to what these other programs are doing, you can go to one event and they're, you're signing up for their educational component. And hmm. there's nothing wrong with that mm -hmm. if you are committed Yes. to doing the process. Mm -hmm. And then you have these other programs that are about rah, 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 yep. hype, hype, hype. Yep. How many butts can you put in the seat? Mm -hmm. And I think one of the things that you and I spoke about and we agreed with is less is more, an mm. immersive experience, yep. an experience where the business owner, because that's really who we're catering mm -hmm. to, that business owner could position themselves in a room of people that are not there to judge. Mm. And we, as a collective, mm. want to see them have success. Yeah. And we want to be part of that success. 100%, yeah. And there's so, there's so much value to be said for the mentors, you know, mm. slash, I guess we'd say speakers, mm -hmm. that you brought in. So let's talk about the speakers for a minute. Yep. You and Devin have had such amazing experiences, but yet you've hand-selected mm. the people that you want. Yep in this program and you have access you mm -hmm. know i just want to make sure sean has access <laughs> yep. to the most amazing people i'm jealous he'll tell you you get these guys mm -hmm. or you'll post a picture i'm like i love that guy yeah that's right you know i do yeah, this to you all the time for sure i love stop i it. need to get them to meet I that guy right i love that guy yeah, yeah, yeah. you know i my husband says it all the time mm -hmm. he goes Rhonda, i never have to worry about you leaving me for the really <laughs> handsome guy that's got money. You're gonna leave me one day for the smart guy. And <laughs> the you, intellectual. Yeah, you bring on these guys, and I'm like, yeah. oh, I love that guy. Yeah, yeah. And there's so much passion and energy, and I know we have Dave Meltzer. Yes. You know, and mm -hmm. he's fantastic because yeah. he's authentic. Mm -hmm. But you have access to all these people. So how did you and Devin narrow down who your team was gonna be? So this is true. My first pick on the list was Rhonda because I needed someone to keep us on track. 
Nismic. Because <laughs> and, and these are speakers, but at the same time, they're really facilitators and helping yeah. people create the plan. And that's what it's all about. But we have David Meltzer. You just got done interviewing James Dixon. Oh, 1.4 million subs on YouTube. Yeah. I mean, people are going to be laughing and crying tonight. I mean, it's going to be amazing. And really, I mean, you have the sales diva. We just we just said, hey, who, who's the dream team that's going to help facilitate and shares that vision of helping people go execute and a plan? Because really, change is going to happen when they leave those doors. Yeah. Right? And that's what it's all about. And I think what happens to you um, is that you have a lot of these stages that they've, and I'm going to probably get yelled at for this, but it's okay. A lot of times, you have stages where they develop the talent, mm. right? They find the person that fits the mold, mm. but they may not have the experiences or the substance to mm. back, you know, yeah. being in a one-on-one -on -one environment. Right, sure. And I think what I've learned, because when you and I started talking about this, you know, experience, I had the opportunity to get to know the speakers. Mm. So it wasn't about, yes, you have James Dixon, who's amazing, mm. but you have literally put together a group of professionals that all still run mm. their businesses. That's right. They are their own brands. Mm -hmm. And because of that, they've had their own ups and downs. They've mm -hmm. learned everything that we're about to teach. They can say, I've been there, mm. or that's me. Right? Like I yeah. run a fantastic business, mm. but there are certain things that I know I'm still lacking, yep. right? There's mm -hmm. the people that are working in their business and the people that are trying to scale their business. Right. And there's a big difference. And it takes the right team to help somebody identify mm. how to create growth. Yes. Do they want to make more money? More mm -hmm. money does not always mean right. more sales. Sure. Maybe it's a restructure. Yeah, love it. Right. It's about yeah. my, and a lot of this is about mindset mm. and relationship building. So I love. I'm really, really looking forward to hearing what everybody has to say. So you, mm -hmm. of course, I don't want to discount the fact that you're a speaker. Yeah. You are speaking about tax hive. That's right. Because yep. there's nothing like being a business owner and wanting mm -hmm. to be reminded about taxes. That's right. Yeah, it's <laughs> such a fun topic, right? Yeah. So it's going to be a lot of fun. The culmination of the whole event is going to be fun, too, because yeah. literally every person in there is a speaker. So, like, I think public speaking is number one on the list of fears in the world. Like, death is four. So people would rather die than to speak <laughs> on stage. Well, we're going to have every person in the room get up and present their plan, which yeah. is a group accountability. And that's, we're going to get the sound bite for them for their social. We're going to get sound bite with you and them for social. I mean, it's going to be networking, everything else. This is going to be an experiential that's really going to change lives. Now, I know that the goal of the Battle Collective is to really create an environment where we're going to start replicating this. Mm -hmm. I think you and I have spoken maybe once a month, right? Mm -hmm. Which gives time to really develop the class that just left yep. and gives us time to then focus on the class that's getting ready to come in. Mm. Do you think that this is something that you want to maintain in Utah? Or do you think this is something that you want to take on the road? It can be very easily. We can go all over. I've had people from Australia you know some of the friends I have, they've like they've heard about this and are like, can you come out here? So I mean, it, this is like a universal thing. Businesses right now, there's so much uncertainty. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people afraid. You know, there's a correction in the market, everything else. Should yeah. you get scared and should you like kind of get into your, you know, your corner or should you go actually to battle? And that's what this thing's all about. So it doesn't matter where in the world it is right now, we can make it happen. I love that this opportunity was given to the business owner. Because I mm. feel like these are now things that are happening mm. as we're evolving and as social media has evolved. Because I know that when I opened up my first business, groups like this and ideas and concepts like this were just not available. Mm. So thank you so much for choosing me to be part of your team. Yes. And I am so excited to yes. see what we are going to be bringing. Mm -hmm. uh, with that said, Sean Finnegan, Thank you, my friend, Thank for joining you, Rhonda, us today. You're amazing. And uh, stay tuned because we have so many more amazing speakers and guests that we're going to be sharing with you. Stay tuned.